can you sum up the verdict for us about what the Supreme Court's uh, Constitution bench has said today? Okay, so uh, election commission, which is responsible for holding elections for General Assembly, say Lok Sabha, and for state uh, assemblies as well as lower, uh, you know, bipole elections. So their appointment till date was a prerogative of the central government because they were appointed by the president and president act on aid and advice of the central government, say senior cabinet, uh, uh, you know, that is headed by the prime minister of India. Now Supreme Court through its judgment has given a chance that there will be a say of opposition, leader of opposition of Lok Sabha as well as chief, sitting chief justice of India. Now, uh, there are two takes, one positive and one negative. The positive take. Now, everyone in this country of 1.4 billion will expect that for any such appointment to a such higher push, there should be some transparency, be it uh, election commission's appointment, be it, uh, say, judicial appointment, etc., etc. Now, so, so to bring a new reform in that is definitely welcoming. However, to include the Chief Justice of India and, and, and uh, in, in such a committee and be it for an ad hoc basis only till the, Supreme, till the central government brings a law because the order says that till the central government brings a law or for the parliament brings a law for the appointment of the election commission, there will be a new setup where Prime Minister, Leader of Opposition and Chief Justice of India will together appoint someone to be in the election commission. Now, the problem is that Chief Justice of India, or for that point, any uh, judge of the Supreme Court and say High Court, are appointed directly by the collision system of uh, the Supreme Court, headed by CGI and two senior most judges and two more. So, they are, uh, so, so for that point, five senior most judges of Supreme Court. So, if they are not elected directly and there is no transparency in their own appointment, it is really shocking to see that they want they say in the appointment of election commission who is responsible for holding uh, literally the fair elections and the largest fair elections across the globe and which has been really successful in such a way that different countries are taking inspiration from uh, our uh, election system as to how do we conduct such big election uh, in such smooth way so i guess uh, that was the negative side of this particular order where supreme court's cgi has been given uh, a say uh, in the appointment of election commission and and yes there is one more thing which i would definitely like to say shriyaji president acts on aid and advice of the prime minister and senior cabinet this is what constitution says now if you include cgi and leader of opposition there that means you are saying that election uh, so that that means you are saying that president should not act on aid and advice of the prime minister and senior cabinet but should act on aid and advice of the leader of opposition who is the losing party as well as the cgi who is not a elected representative so that means you are defying the very constitution you have taken a protect the authority to protect because constitution also says separation of power and in this i guess uh, C, uh supreme court has failed in its duty to protect uh, I, I hope that there will be no contempt case against me, but I, 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 I dare to say that uh, this was very unfortunate where judiciary was involved in uh, such process. Can you, basically, can you tell me that why did it take so long? If, if at all there was uh, any doubt about the independence of the election commission, about how it functions, then why has it taken uh, the Supreme Court so long to intervene in, in, in the matter at all? If, if at all there were any doubts, then the law should have uh, come about a long time ago. And uh, even this verdict should have come out a long time ago. Constituent Assembly, which gave us the Constitution of India, had the provision of one uh, uh, election commissioner for this country. Now, but uh, during ninth Lok Sabha election, to say after a say few years or few decades of the independence of this country and so there was a problem because if you have one person to, ha to to check the entire election process of such a big country with such vast majority, then there will be chances that, uh, you know, uh, that person may be biased. And that is why 
we have a system where now we have three in uh, election so election commission consists of three people one chief election commissioners and then there will be two uh, election commissioners as well along with him and two is to one majority will always be there because then the the benefit for of a three member committee versus a one member committee is that three member committee will have their own independent view so even if one is biased supposedly or allegedly then also you will have this liberty in mind that three member will not look into one aspect only or they will be by, uh, you know independent please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar